Hey, wonderful people, we're back here again talking about manifestation and law of assumption and all that good stuff. Law of attraction. Okay, so my topic today is specific versus broad. What is that? Now, and this goes for goal setting as well. And there is, I know there's, there's people that swear by going specific. S drill down into the specifics of what you want and say, I want that at this place, at this time, in this way. And it will most likely come true. And no, it's not, not how it works for me. <laughs> not how it works for me best. The thing is that, Okay, here's a bunch of pens. Okay, so we're playing with possibilities, probabilities, right? If you say only green, then it limits your possibilities. It has to be this one. It can't be this one, and it can't be this one. Definitely not gonna be that one, and it's not gonna be this one. Because you're saying only green. Now, if you're saying any marker, your possibilities are much more open. It's much more likely that you're going to get any marker. It would, you, but, of course, you have to say what you're happy with, right? Maybe I'm not happy with just any dry erase marker, which is what these are. Maybe I only want the dry erase markers with erasers on the top of them. Well, now that, that opens it up, right? You were playing with possibilities. So... I have found that it doesn't work best when I am very specific. It actually works. And two, because sometimes when you're very specific, you have a block in that area. Yeah, you'll have resistance in that very specific area. If you make it broad, I'll give it an example. But if you make it broad, it's like money. You want to be wealthy. You just want to be wealthy. Well, maybe you don't care how you're wealthy or you care within boundaries anyway right but you can you can set those boundaries not to be you know I need to have a million dollars on Tuesday at this date at this time that's it's not helping you it's not more likely to come true that way I found that it's much more likely to be broad because you of all these things and another thing that I'm gonna bring up too is that your higher self may also have a problem with it. We're co-creating here. That's a whole nother topic. We're co-creating. Your higher self pulls rank on you because your higher self is you, basically. Kind of like from the future. And you get to say what you can and you can't do. And your higher self, your future self, your whatever you want to call it, your soul, won't let you do things that are detrimental to you. Of course, you won't know that because you're here and you're, you can't see everything. You have these physical eyes and you can't see through the walls. Well, they can. You know, <laughs> let you do stupid things. And your higher self is the one that plans when you're going to die because you don't want to do that. You never want to die. And that's that's good. That's good. That's that's the way it should be. But somebody's got to pull the cord on you at some point. You don't want to live in the zoo forever. Right? You don't want to live down here forever. So an example of this is like I tried to manifest problem some people at work leaving the job. But honestly, that's not really what I wanted. What I wanted was for the job to be more pleasant and those unpleasant people to be pleasant. That's what I wanted. I wanted a pleasant job. When I tried to pin down people leaving, it didn't, it didn't manifest. Now, I did see evidence of people looking like they were about to leave. I got a lot of that, but they never actually left. And then, when I manifested, I said, okay, enough of that. I, want, I just want this job to be nice and comfortable, and I want people to be nice to me and to other people, at least within my experience. 
I want this to be nice from now on. From here on out, it's going to be nice because that's what I've said and that's what I'm putting out there and this is my life and this is the way it's going to be from now on. And I wrote that down in a book to, to look at it and remember it. And that book is, is so, I think of that book as so I have written it, so it is done. And so it was. It was very general. Be nicer. Whatever that meant. Again, <laughs> a lot of possibilities for the universe to pick from. And it, it happens that way better. Because it happens that way easier, I should say. And it's more likely to happen because you have more, the, there are more opportunities for that to come through. And I think a lot of people get stuck, especially when it comes to money, that they have to have it this way. Or especially when it's a, an, as a specific person in their life, a romantic interest, they, uh, ha they have all these stipulations. And, man, good luck on that. You're dealing with possibilities. You're going to have to be broader on those possibilities. You want for If you want a pers specific person to fall in love with you, and then not, maybe you just want someone to fall in love with you that's awesome. Maybe even better than the person you have in mind. Maybe that's what you really want. So sometimes you have to step up on what do you really want? And usually you want something a lot more and a lot better than the thing you're hanging on to. And that's how you can make this happen. That's really where you should be manifesting from. That thing that you, that, that cream on the top. You, you, we constantly, we usually go after the milk because that's, that's how it's what we usually do, right? As we usually we see other people do it, so we might as well do that too. But dig down in yourself. What do you really want? What's the real cream on top? What's the cherry on top of the cream that you want? Manifest for that. It's broad. It's much broader than the specific thing you have. Think of it as an upside down pyramid. Which or your target are you more likely to hit? The broad target or the small target? And the, the broad target is probably actually what you want more, right? I mean, there's a lottery coming up, let, let's say next week, and you're like, I have to win that, I have to win that, I have to win that, I have to win that one at this time. Good luck on that. But there have been a lot of lottery winners who have won the lottery. They just said, they didn't, they didn't set a date. They said, I know I'm going to win eventually, so <laughs> what's the big deal? And they won. Now, that's, uh, that's something I recommend. That the lottery is a very, you, you're, the lottery is a thing that your higher self will have a, an issue with because it is very disruptive to your life goals usually unless it, it is a life goal so play it uh, and try and win it but that's another thing that your higher self may have a problem with and this is why you need to go broad you don't want to honestly maybe it's not that you have to win the lottery it's that you want to be wealthy that you want to be financially secure Put that into your goal. Make that your thing. Make that what you are. And now it's very broad. Now you can, you, there's a million different things you can do to be wealthy. And man, there are a lot of things you can do to be wealthy. Like I said in another video, there, especially this time of the, there are more millionaires being made right now this, this year last year than ever in the history of humanity. There are, even, it doesn't matter how you calculate the wealth, okay? There are more people because of the internet. There are, on average, since uh, I think it was two years ago, in the United States, there are 1,700 people, on average, becoming a millionaire every day. 
every day. So, and some days there's more, there's 2,000 or 3,000 becoming millionaires. And they keep that money. This is, this is not funny money, this is not investment money, this is cash in the bank money. This is how they calculate it because they can't calculate it. The bank knows how much money they have and when it goes over a million, it's, you know, they notice. <laughs> so anyway, broad, not specific. That, this has helped me a lot. If you have to go specific, hang in there because that's, that's going to take longer probably. But if you can go broad, then you can go, you can manifest a lot closer to your goal. And if it's still not what you want, you can fine tune it later on and get a little, because now you're down the road a lot. You've manifested a lot into that target manifestation. You're almost there and you can fine tune it and still have a high rate of success because we're dealing with possibilities and probabilities. Okay, that's it. <laughs>